question today. What is resurrection? Resurrection is the uniting of the spirit and the body in an immortal state, no longer subject to death or disease. Resurrection is not simply coming back from the dead, which is sometimes called the Lazarus effect. A resurrected being is immortal, meaning they will never get tired, they will never get sick, nor will they ever die again. We call this an immortal state when you live forever. However, because of the fall of Adam and Eve, we are all subject to death, which is the separation of spirit and the body. In this life, we are mortal. At some point, our body and our spirit will be separated, which is called death. Upon death, our body will be buried in the grave and our spirit will go to the spirit world to await the resurrection. On Easter morning, Jesus Christ resurrected and his body was reunited with his spirit, never to be separated again. Because Jesus Christ was resurrected, he made it possible for all human beings who have ever lived to be resurrected and live forever. This beautiful doctrine teaches that all people we love, we have lost, will be resurrected. Personally, I have lost my mother, I have lost my father, I have lost my grandmother, and many other people who matter so much to me. What gave me comfort during their passing and till to this day was this important truth that they will all come back and I will see them again as I knew them. What's even more amazing is that I will see them in their perfected state, not sick, not old. There has been many people that have been brought back from the dead, but they were not resurrected. For example, Jesus Christ brought back Lazarus after he had died for three days, but this did not mean Lazarus was resurrected because at some point Lazarus died. One who is resurrected receives an immortal body. The first person to achieve this was Jesus Christ. He never died again after he was resurrected. The scriptures contain several accounts of people testifying that he rose from the tomb and later ascended to heaven to never taste death again. I love this comforting truth and the amazing promise that the people we love, the people who have passed on, we will see them again. Just like those people who saw Jesus Christ, the same thing will happen to all of us. We will see our loved ones who have passed on. What a beautiful day that will be. Yes, he died. The soldiers confirmed his death as they drove the spear on his side and blood and water gushed out. And yes, he was dead, but he resurrected. He came back never to die again. When the resurrected Lord appeared to his disciples, they thought he was a spirit. He said, behold, my hands and feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see me, for the spirit has no flesh and bones, as he see me have. So they touched him to feel his flesh and bones. He was not a spirit, but a resurrected being. From this account, we learn something important. When we all resurrect, we will be as we are flesh and bones. At the time of the resurrection, we will be judged according to our works. We shall be brought to stand before God, knowing even as we know now and having a bright recollection of our guilt. Which means if you are a good person, you will still be a good person. If you are a person who is not so good, you will still be a person who is not so good. You will have a perfect recollection of who you are have a perfect recollection of your actions, good and bad. The eternal glory we will receive will depend on our faithfulness. Although all people will be resurrected, only those who have come unto Christ and partaking of the fullness of his gospel will inherit exaltation in the celestial kingdom. Everyone will resurrect. The only difference will be which kingdom you inherit. An understanding and a testimony of the resurrection can give us hope and perspective as we experience life's challenges, trials, and the triumph of life. That is so true. I am so thankful for this knowledge, for this doctrine, for this teaching, and for this truth. It has helped me so many times in my life. It has helped me to look forward 
to that day when I will resurrect and meet with all my loved ones and receive a perfect body and live with the Lord in a state of never ending happiness in his presence. More important, just help me to deal with the passing of my parents, the passing of my grandmother, the passing of close friends and family members. It has helped me to find peace and hope. I know I will see them again. I know that death is not the end. We can all find peace in the assurance that Jesus Christ lives, that through his atonement, he has broken the bands of death, that the grave has no victory, that the sting of death is swallowed up in the hopes of his glory. I know that to be true. And this is my testimony, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.